All right, our first game in the Let's Play Tonight versus Hell Average Gauntlet. We've got Cuphead. How we feel about this one, guys? I'm I'm feeling confident. Okay. Well, I'm not feeling confident. I'm feeling confident. You guys. <laughs> <laughs> we came in. Yeah, we put in a lot of practice on this game. Yeah, we came in and we, and we had our time down to like it took me and Carmen like two and a half hours to beat the first map. Not the first map, the first island, and then. We finally got that time down to like 40 minutes, and so this was our first official run. Um, so we, you can see in the top right-hand corner, that's Let's Play Tonight. The and we're going to be the main... Them. Yeah, as of now. Um, yeah. So I forget who's actually going to run this first uh, uh I think gauntlet. it was Carmen. I, think it was oh, yeah, Carmen. I, I let off with the first run and gone. So what happened yeah, we, with this is Carmen started off and we got the jitters. Like our hearts were pounding. We didn't know what the fuck to do. It was like we were athletes yeah. and shit. We were all fucked up. I think this was like the most intense match of the night or the day. Yeah, it was really it was really good. Yeah. Um, we were feeling it. Oh fuck yeah. yeah. Fuck yeah. It felt like I did back in the day when I played sports. I was like, oh my god, what's happening? Oh. My hands were shaking. I was like, fuck, that adrenaline was pumping. So here we go. We're about to start the first running gun stage. And as of right now, we're ahead. Yeah. Um, we're Only by load times. Yeah, by load times. <laughs> yeah. Um, and it looked like we started off pretty strong. We haven't yep. got hit yet. Karma is killing it. Yep. Um, but I feel like at some point or another, we started going awry on here. I don't know if it was the nerves or what it was. But we're yeah, still looking think, pretty good. Yeah, we, we fucked up a couple times on this stage, I think. Yeah, but Karma's yeah. looking pretty good right now. Pretty solid run so far. He gets hit here when he's trying to get that parry. Um, but he keeps moving. He's using that dash pretty well. That Constantly shooting. That's the key on this. It's just constant shooting. Constant run and constant gun. Absolutely. Yeah, I just tend to hold the trigger down the whole time while I play this. Oh, yeah. When I do the, I do that for pretty much all the stages. Bosses, run gun. You just hope you never let go of that trigger. Yeah, I mean, that's just... And you see there, like, we're standing there. We're at the end. We had this thing dead to rights. We get caught from the behind. It's terrible. I believe I'm up on the sticks now. I usually tend to jump a little bit more than you guys do. Which hurts me I think me that's sometimes. a nerve thing, though. It might be. Well, I noticed, and you'll see it a little bit later on uh, on Let's Play's um, channel. I think when Josh plays, he jumps a lot, too. I think I don't know if it's just a, just a tick or what, but yeah. Um, so I didn't make it far at all. Like, I was nervous, and you could see where I got to. <laughs> now we got Jeremy on the sticks, starting off strong. Oh, and, yeah. And then he gets hit by Sir Mushroom Cap down there. Uh, and as you can see, in the top right-hand side, let's play the Knights already beat this level. They're loading back into the map as we speak. And we are still stuck here. And keep in mind that we didn't have their video up. Like, we had no idea if we were ahead or behind. We had to just kind of guess based off what they were saying. It was, it was pretty nerve-wracking. Yeah, we were listening pretty hard as to what they were doing. I I, I assumed we were just going to like blow them out. I didn't think they were going to be practicing as hard as they did on Cuphead. I had no idea, and, and you'll see yeah. as we go along. Uh, it, it turns out to be quite a tight race. Uh, but here's what they do, and you see in the top right-hand corner, they selected the shotgun, the spread blast, and mm -hmm. then the, uh, the, the dash where you disappear where you're invincible. So they kind of went a different route than what we decided to do. So that, that's interesting. You'll get to see kind of a different play style. You know, that's and that's not a bad route to go, but for speed run for speed running purposes, it's not very good. Um, yeah, we we watched the tapes. We watched the speed runs. Yes. Yeah, we watched our film. We were like professional athletes watching film, what we needed to do. Um, so we went the standard route of the you know the traditional speed runners kind of loadout they try to use. Although I'm not sure that we use it to its full potential. Um, no, no. I don't. It, it was too. It was too hard to to switch between them constantly, at least yeah. for me. So we had to figure out, well, I mean, you know, and I don't know if we'll ever have the need to do it again, but if we ever have to try to speed run it again, we need to figure out the perfect loadout. Well, I mean, like, the the, the spread shot and disappearing, di, di, disappearing dash that you're doing is, it's it's good, you know, just for bosses in general. Oh, yeah, but, absolutely. Yeah, I mean, I, I kind of wish I had that as well as these other ones, but, you know, that lobber... Turn that uh, Robert roundabout combo is fucking deadly as fuck. It absolutely is, and as you can see here, I mean they're almost they're halfway through Botanic Panic, and we're still on this first run and gun stage, so yeah. we we lost quite a bit of time right here. Um, yeah. But I think this is before we started like settling down, you know. So yeah, we had to just clear. catch our breath. 
yeah, and it felt good. Once we started getting into rhythm, I feel like we did well. But we cleared the level here. Um, it looks like they are. Oh, they get caught right at the end, right there on Botanic Panic. So, ha ha. That was a good. That was good for us to try to catch up a bit. Yeah, they they did. That was actually really good but for they us. Were, like they stay ahead of us like this for a while, like a full stage. I watched it uh, the footage uh, a few days ago, and I just was like amazed that we were able to squeak this one. And you can, I mean, I'm telling you, this is high level Cuphead gameplay right here. For for amateurs running this, I think it looks pretty good. <laughs> oh yeah. <laughs> I mean, yeah, if we could if we could cut the deaths down, it would it would have been amazing. So we're gonna go for the roundabout here in the lobber. That seems to be like the traditional loadout. Yeah, um, and it didn't help that we put Jeremy into equip the he it was, he was on the sticks, and we were like, all right, you got to go equip these things. And me and Cam had practiced it a few times. Yeah. <laughs> so I'm like, Jeremy, yeah. put this here, put that there, and then you end up moving it back and forth as you'll see coming up. Yeah, we're like, fuck, put it in there, Jeremy, fuck, fuck. <laughs> So Jeremy's looking around here, and we're like, fuck, there's only two, Jeremy, what the fuck are you doing? Oh, worst case scenario, I picked the wrong fucking one, too. So I think, and we run it, we don't know which one we should have put first, we didn't really do that kind of research, we thought about it later, should one be before the other. I think we did it right, we did it right here. Okay, um, so we're just now starting Botanic Panic, which we called up, because they were getting caught on the, the final, the carrot in Botanic Panic, so they knock them out right when we start. So we're basically one boss fight behind at this point. And this is Jeremy leading off right here. He's got a pretty. I can tell by, can tell by his jumping. Because <laughs> <laughs> he like jumps. Oh, he walks away, but jumps toward the projectile. Got gotcha. you. They, they call me Jump a Jeremy. And you know we sat back and practiced this a lot. This was a Saturday. We sat back last the Friday before, and we're just like yamming on it, trying to figure out the best way to beat it, what the patterns were. I mean, we were doing our homework on this. But Karin makes quick work of the first boss. Um, we're going into the Crab Baby Onion right now. Um, yeah, you, you guys practice on this. I, you yeah, came Jeremy, over you like, got thrown into it. Yeah, I had like 10 minutes. Like You were like, get this shit down. I was like, okay. <laughs> we, we had faith in you. All the faith, Jeremy. Oh, I don't think I beat a single stage or boss, did I? I think you did. No, you, I think no, you, you did pulled I? out one at the end, I believe. Did I? Yeah, I'm pretty sure you did. Carmen had the most. I think I beat three, and then Carmen beat everything else. Wait, you got okay. one, and Carmen beat everything else. Uh, I might have had two. You might have had one, and Carmen beat everything else. Carmen was the real MVP of this this run right here. Um, yeah. yeah, I had to redeem myself. If you watch us on Select Start, I'm I'm very bad at this game, and in, in all of our run throughs, um, other than this one. So, as you can see, Carmen got burnt down on the care on this one. Uh, Let's play tonight is already in the casino. Um, so we're we're uh, you know we're behind, but we're not too far off to make a comeback. I'm running the sticks now, feeling pretty confident right here. Burn through the potato really quick. Try to get some extra damage right here when the onion comes up. Uh, get that little last bit of hit in. That pro strat right there. I mean, I was feeling pretty good. Like I feel, I always feel pretty good about this boss. This boss is pretty straightforward. Um, I just get a little, a little too uh, trigger happy Got at the close. end. Yeah. 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 I think I think we had an easier time with the frogs than we did the. I don't remember. But like right here, like we had him dead to rights. I mean, I was like had him knock the fuck out and then just made yeah, some dumb mistakes. Yeah, you just got a little wild. You like wouldn't sit still. I oh, ain't seen the pants. Yeah, he's super antsy still. Like wouldn't stop jumping. And, like, I tried it at the end. I remember I just tried to stick it out. Like I saw the carrots coming, and I just tried to stick it out. Right there, I barely dodged his little side beam attack. He's like a fucking Pokemon. See, man, you should treat it like real life and avoid them vegetables. But I'm not going like I feel like here, like I, like he should have been done for. Like I thought I was putting it on him, and you were, you were super close, and then I don't. I just got caught by there, by that side beam attack. Um, you see up in the top right, let's play tonight has already beat the casino. They are now a full two boss fights ahead of us. Man, I had no idea how far ahead they got. Me neither. I mean, they weren't, they weren't like slamming ahead, but they were, they were ahead for a while. Yeah, but a stage in this game is, like, a lot. <laughs> yeah, and yeah, we're, we're two behind. Yeah. So, I mean, we, we really had the odds stacked against us. There's no no doubt about it. And if I would have seen this, like, I would have been all that more, like, nervous and probably would have fucked up more. Yeah, that's a good point. I'm glad we couldn't see them at that point. Because it, it, you're right. I would have been like, oh, fuck, man. We got to hurry up. Oh, we, we just be getting, we'd be getting so fucking just jacked and just pissed and, like, demotivated every time we got killed. So, Jeremy, what was going through your head right here, buddy? Uh, 
what the fuck do these disease buttons do? Why can't I? <laughs> why am I switching? <laughs> All right, we that's did valid. Have a funk. We did have a funky layout. Yeah, we did. Yeah, yeah. I mean, it 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 was definitely one I I could have gotten used to if I had more time, but you know, just didn't there have we go. Time to Jeremy train. finishes the stage. That's what I'm talking about. Yeah, oh, Jeremy, yeah. you let us off with the first boss kill. Oh wow, I actually did finish a stage. Damn. And then the rest is history for you. <laughs> and I was like, well, I've done all I can here. Uh, I was can... like, I, uh, I was like Square Enix's press conference. I was like, I've <laughs> done all I can. But you didn't do anything. Exactly. Uh, you can see at the top right there struggling a little bit with Goopity Goop Goop Goop. I forget his real name. Goopy Lagrange. Senior Goopy Lagrange or something. Esquire the third. So we beat Botanic Panic. We're heading down to the casino boat. Right we'll now, I, I'm pretty sure we're feeling pretty anxious. Like I, I, I think pretty, we know we're behind at this point. I'm I'm pretty sure you one shot these guys, Cam. I don't remember. I this do not me. remember. Oh, was Carmen's it you? Up. Yeah, Carmen's up. Oh, yeah. oh okay. Since you I just think... got the kill, the rotation was me, Cam, you, me, Cam, you. Oh, I thought it was. Oh, okay, I thought it was the other way around. No, Carmen nope. started, so it went Carmen, me, then you. Ah. Oh. So you were always after me. Okay, I thought it was me and then you and then Carmen. No, you're right, you're right. We did go the opposite. We did go counterclockwise. Yeah, because that's how we sit in that room. You always sit in the middle. Yeah. But I, I just remember the first time we played Cuphead, we went clockwise. Or er, counterclockwise, I mean. And you can see here, they're still, I mean, they're having a hard time with Goofy Lagrange, and we're we're doing pretty good work right now. Carmen's in a pretty good rotation here. He's keeping us cool. He's not moving around too much. It looks pretty good for Mario. Hmm. Yeah, it's funny that they had so much trouble with Goopy since he's supposed to be one of the easier bosses. You know, his pattern is pretty easy. Um, yeah. It's just you just a, have to knock it in his way. Yeah. It looks like it looks too like they might have fucked up because they were trying to get all fancy. Like hitting all they the did. They just, he just did. Marks. Like I'm assuming that Josh is playing right now, and he just tried to hit all three parries, which we didn't mm. worry about any parrying. We just worried about no. getting through. Just damage. Yeah. Damage dealt. Uh, we should have said it at the beginning, but the rules here were you had to switch off after every death, and you had to rotate every after picture. every stage. Um, so and there was no like trying to kill yourself to get to your best player. I mean, it was pretty straightforward. You got the sticks you had to play. Um, got yeah. that god run, that god uh, tier boss right now. That's so. what you want. I mean, you want that one. You preferably you want it twice. Yes, um, you definitely want it twice. So Carmen, you have messed around, got two pretty easy ones. Th these are you know these are your two most wanted. And it ones. gets and it gets dicey. Let's it not. does. Oh, dicey. Oh, so close. Oh, so oh. close right there. That was pulling it out at the end. Um, well, I had two health getting hit right there, so I was I was pretty golden. Yeah, we were good to go. Carmen did a knockout first run. Didn't get hit till the end, so pretty solid run on Carmen's part. They just finished Goopy Legrand, so we narrowed it down on that one battle just to one uh, boss fight. So right now, we, we were down two. Now we're only down one. So I'm feeling pretty good watching this. Yeah, again. we start at this point. We're totally settled in. We're feeling good. We're still a little anxious, but you know we're we're pushing through and getting that that one shot in the casino was a game a game changer. Absolutely, we definitely need that. That breathed life into our game for sure. And we didn't know exactly how much until we go back and look at it. So right now they're on the airplane level oh. while we're fighting a Goofy Lagrange. Cam's doing work on the old blue boy. He got blue balls. Um, like I said, I mean, he's a pretty straightforward boss. Like, his patterns are pretty much easy to read. Um, yeah, I, I, I thought he was easier than the vegetables, personally. I think he's probably one of the easiest ones in the game. Yeah. Um, try to put it on him right here. But that's the worst part when he gets big, is just trying to stay the fuck away from him. Yeah, he just walked right into his yeah. big ass right there. Yeah. And I remember we were, we were practicing this, and ha I had him like up against the uh, the left side one time, and like his fist clipped through to the side, and I couldn't see his fist, so he just punched the fuck out of me. It was terrible. <laughs> God, I got hit right here, man. I should know that. I know his fucking pattern. It's every three, right? Ah, I got smashed like a little bitch is what I did. Yeah, and then you kept switching here, and it's hard to hit him with that lobber when he's moving like this. I think I kind of held it down right there. I can see I stopped switching as much. We got the one and done on that one as well. Yeah. Double doozy right there. Good so that's job. what really put us back in was the one, two one and dones back to back. Um, that helped. That definitely helped us get cotched up. <laughs> oh, yeah. Fuck yeah. Yeah. I yeah. mean, a minute, two second kill, that's pretty good. 
Mm hmm. I wonder, I gotta look at, I wanna look back at the speedruns and see, like, when they get the clears. And see oh, how far okay, yeah. we were on our time. I mean. I wanna do this again, though. If oh, I yeah. I haven't expressed that enough. Like, this was super fun. Even if it is just the same island, we can probably come up with some different mutators and really, like, make this a challenge. Yeah, like, like use like use only the pea shooter. Or yeah, something? only the pea shooter. No dashing. Oh fuck! Uh, off, dude. No, we'll you be have there to have for the like, dash. You don't. You I dash. don't think you have. Okay, you no, can you, use the you, dash you, on the running guns, but you don't have to have the dash. I can't think of. I any... disagree. I'm not yeah. sure that you could jump over the frogs without. Yeah, I, I would huh. say like just just the da like the dash. So you you, don't, you can't buy any augmentations. How's about that? Okay, so just like, stock character. Exactly. You just you have you start with your your basic bitch pea shooter and that's it. Up in the corner, we see that they just got caught right at the very end in her final stage. Ooh. And now we're on the same level. We have slowly narrowed it down, and we are neck and neck right now. I think this is the hardest boss out of all of the ones that we have to fight in the first aisle. Oh, absolutely, absolutely. She was a fucking bitch. To fight. Actually, it's funny because actually today at work I watched the new speed run, the new world record, and like. He aces this 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 chick so fast it's stupid. Well, you have to if you're the world run speedrunner record holder. Like when she like at at like the point when she like flies to the flies off the screen and comes back, he takes the hit and then turns into a bomb and hits her the whole way as she goes back. Oh, Damn. Like pro level shit, yeah. Jeremy Damn. just got slayed. Yeah. So her arm is on the up. sticks. It looks like uh, let's play tonight is on the second phase of the boss. Um, so, I mean, we're, we're pretty neck and neck right here. It feels this good. A, I'm feeling like we're going to win. I think I, at this point, I can't even lie. Like, I'm like, oh, we're so far ahead. We got this shit made. Yeah, seriously, though, those, those fucking You thought we took the lead here? Off. Yeah, yeah, I thought we were ahead at this point, to be honest with you. Yeah, I did. I, honestly, I thought we were ahead the whole time, more or less. Like, so I'm still operating oh, the assumption I guess that I could hear them a little them. better. I, maybe I was more focused on the iPad with Discord. You probably, I think you were, because I could barely I knew that they were way ahead of us. I knew when they hit this stage where we were at at that time. Yeah, I had no idea. I couldn't hear it from where I was. We got that full shotgun so All right, so, so they're focused. in the final phase right now. They just hit that final phase. Carmen comes in with the Bombski Doodle. Ooh. Nice, clean hit. This is a pretty straightforward. We get her out of that phase pretty fast, which was, which was crucial. Um, getting her out of that stage as fast as possible. So they knock her out. We're right behind. We're about to send her into the final stage. Karma's looking pretty good. We've got two health. Oh. It's key. You gotta have. You need. I really need three at most times when I run this boss. When you get to the final stage. Yeah, it's those fucking uh, UFOs, man. They're just too unpredictable. I and then I was glad that I noticed the strat where, like, you just keep shooting her even though she's not really taking damage and it just builds your super meter up. Yeah. Yes. Yes. That was a good hint, too. Right here. You're doing good. Oh, uh, that was so close. That star almost got us. One star and you're dead. What is happening? This is intense. And a knockout. That is epic. Good shit, Con. Woo. Pro level shit, baby. I'm glad that they can't kill you while they're going through that animation, because I don't know if you guys noticed, but that fucking ship just lit me up right at the end. <laughs> I didn't pay attention. It just like shines right on me, boop, like a beacon. <laughs> In the night. So we're coming. They're on the next run and gun stage, and we're looking pretty good right here. Like we're we're one and two shot in these bosses at this point. So after this, I mean, and we didn't run Mausoleum, so we're not even going to worry with the Mausoleum. So all we've got left right now is the run and gun stage and uh, the wild. What's the flower level again? Oh, God, I can't remember. Oh. We'll see it soon. <laughs> <laughs> Flowery oh, Fred. This Please. fucking run and gun stage, like, this one is the bane of our existence. Yeah. I think that I uh, won one phase this one. Um,. No. No. I, oh, I because I remember I fucked it up at one point. Did you? We all played this. We at all least fucked once. it. Yeah. Um, you're gonna see what happens. I'm not gonna spoil it, but it happened to us a lot when we practiced. Looking so good you're pushing, right now. You're pushing through. They died again, so that keeps Ooh. us in. So it's like we're halfway through the stage right now, and they're just restarting. The key right here. 
is really fucking with these bugs. Like, they will fuck you up. The flying machine, see, like, right there. Like, out of nowhere. They're like flying balls of death and doom. And I get, I was running it, now, bam, I've got one life left. It's terrible. Terrible, I tell you. We're not worried about the coins in this one. We're just worried about getting it done. Yeah, you only need the coins at the beginning to buy your weapons. So I run, and I feel like I felt pretty good about this run. As you should have. And then smack a doodle. Fuck. I remember, like, practicing this thing, like, when I was at home. <laughs> like, what the fuck? Looking good. They've already died, and bam. I, well, I don't know what happened there. I don't know if I wasn't paying attention or what. But that one and little you hit. Had him killed. Yeah, I had it done. That was the, that was that's the level. All you have to do is wait. And the thing about this stage is that if you're not familiar, the platforms only fall like those bugs will only drop you when they get hit by his little yellow beam. Yeah, for sure. Little fireball or whatever you want to call it. So it's like as long as you're paying attention to that then you're pretty good at just as long as you get off. Because he aims right in your direction and tries to knock out as many platforms as possible. Jeremy, how are you feeling right here at this point? Pretty much worthless. <laughs> I'd imagine he was pretty damn nervous. All right? Now. I think he's nervous now watching it. <laughs> like, fuck! You holding his breath and shit. <laughs> he's like, oh, fuck! Oh, shit! Oh, not again! Oh. Fuck these woodpeckers. You know Jeremy never says, fuck these woodpeckers. Yeah. <laughs> but you can see it in, in the top right, like, Let's Play Tonight was having a terrible time. Yeah, it was pretty rough. Um, so, yeah, they were having, like, an issue with this run. I mean, it's tough. Like, like you said, those bugs pose a huge problem. Platforming in general, I think that the game is super smooth, but totally unforgiving. You, you miss something or just jump the wrong way. There's things flying at you all the time. Yeah, I mean, this game is meant to be like a, a bullet hell type game, though. Like, that's what makes it so hard. There's always constantly shit on your screen you gotta dodge. But that's part of the just, charm. It's fucking relentless. And then when you fall off the screen, there's always something waiting for you. <laughs> you damn right. You ran this one pretty quick. We're in the same exact spot right now. One health. I mean, it's not ideal. Um, but if we were careful here, we had it again. This is twice we had this, this level beat. Um, so, I don't know. It's just we're so close, and they, they obviously can't get it either. So, I mean, this was a tough stage for us both. That shot, see, I wonder about that shotgun strat as well. Like, for them, like, you've got to be up on top of it to, to get that extra damage. And then Carmen comes in for the finish. Good shit. Boom, and we take the lead. The first time that we're leading since the beginning is right now. So, if I had to guess, we held the lead for about 15 seconds at the beginning, only due to load times. And then we finally take it back. It says run and gun stages, man. They are really a pain in the ass. I want to practice them more. Yeah, if we spent more time on them, we'd have been fine. But right now, we're rolling. We feel good. We're like, we got to go. We got to go. And now we're on Floral Fury. The last boss for this run. So I'm on the sticks right now. I don't remember if this is a one ski doodle or not. It's not. <laughs> Felt like I, I thought I one ski doodle or not. No, you, Damn. You did, you did phenomenal here. Like, you're doing it all right. Yeah, and you just gotta stand things, there. You just gotta stand there you just and look pretty. And then once one of these things drop on you, that's it. You don't have to worry with it anymore. It's like, you just move out of the way and you never have to see it again. And here's where you start jumping. Yeah. Excessively too much. I like jumping. I, I like to jump. I like to jump. But, you know, we, you know, it's just, we had it down pat. That's the key on that one. It's like to just to stand there and kind of make your own and like right there I was like fuck I panicked yeah you were on the last phase so Jeremy coming up I wonder how Jeremy's feeling on this one but I think Jeremy gets a little anxious on this one as well um, I feel like with all there's a lot of moving parts and if you're not really paying attention to every little aspect especially when they start bringing out the 
the chompy monsters that fly and shit. Like, and that, the brain. The brain, the brain oh the my brain, god. You, must, you might as well hang it up. It's the bane of this, at this level. And that one missile right there, that just flew right at Jeremy. Like, Jeremy basically bent over, spread his cheeks, and took it. And now, you know, your boy. Karma's, Karma's on the teeth. sticks. He's turned around using that that roundabout the way it should be used, the way God intended. Yeah, I found that on this one, like, to switch between the lobber and all of that is just, it's way too much. Agreed. Because there's too much I going eat, on. I eat that hit, like, direct contact. And then I realize, you know, with that brain, all you got to do is, you know, just put a roundabout up there every so often, and you'll give him the business. Here we go, and you bring it down to the last phase as well. We're actually looking pretty good right here. Um, Heart's pounding. I know that I'm at the end. Been here, and I fucking choke. Terrible. Terrible. They just started, and now we're starting. And it looks like they're using just the regular shot and then switching back to the, the shotgun. Yeah, that's what they're doing. I mean, that when they're getting up close... They're uh, switching that shoddy blast, which, I mean, it looks good. I mean, it does a lot of damage. It's just not the way you just that... just have to be so close. Yeah. And right here, this felt like a good run. I didn't feel like there was a whole lot of shit going on the screen. I'm staying in one spot. I'm trying to stay at home. I did tell you about that shit, you know, on all the sports. Just stay at home. Don't get too crazy. And that's really the key. Right here, he's going to his final face. Got lucky. <laughs> that's just RNG right there. <laughs> Orange Jesus was looking out. Catch that hit right here. We're okay. All good. And knockout, baby. Knocking him Boom. out of the park. The only thing left. Go talk to the dice. So that was it. That was it for the battles. This officially ended when we start the cutscene for the next island. So we'll talk to Dice Head. And... It'll come that up. Patella average gaming up one to zero. We will be one to zero. We had a good strong start. I loved it. This was one of those fun things I've done in gaming in a long time. I tell them all the time. Like I talk to them on Twitter. I'm like, we got to do it again. We got to. I want to do it in person. Like I want to just like. Huh. I say we rent a house and just do it in person. Yes. What? Just yes, fly out to wherever too. the hell they're at. Pencil. Yeah, just fly out wherever. Yeah, we'll just go out wherever, there. Wherever, fly out there, or they fly to us, whatever. Boom. Or we drive to a, a mutual location. So as we see here, um, we caught the win. They're still on the, what is it, Floral Fury. That's so hard to say. That's tough to say. And Botanic Panic, isn't it? Botanic Panic and Floral Fury, I feel like are two different beasts. I feel like you messed one. Like, like I just want to put so many tongue rolls in that floral flurry. Floral, floral fury. fury. Floral flurry. They do have a good strat here. Like when he goes low, they're they just blasting yeah, from the top. Yeah, that's a good strategy. I just don't like having to get this close to. Me. I don't either. I like to stay as far back as possible. I don't yeah, like. It gives you a little more time to react. Um, but you can see here. I'm guessing this is Josh playing. He likes to jump a lot. Good strategy with the baby carrots there. Baby, I guess those baby are baby carrots. carrots. What are those? Baby, baby carrots. carrots. Good strategy the ones there. That just are homing and s snuck into Jeremy's behind in that. Oh, they caught two hits right there on that one. They didn't need that. No. And here they go. Final phase. Good Listen, hits. Good phase, hit. I wouldn't want to be this close. Ooh. No hell no. There they go. Is it going to be a knockout? Is it going to be a knockout? They're getting, they got to be getting close. Yep. Boom, baby. Yo, that parry where he almost got hit. Uh, uh, since we're guessing it's Josh, that was like, it made my heart drop watching it. 112. It's like, a few, it's like a few pixels away. Not a bad run. They're going to come finish it up. Hella Average Gaming is up one to nothing in this Let's Play Tonight versus Hella Average Gauntlet. Come check the next game out. We're going to be playing 
some Halo 3. Oh my goodness. What's going to happen? Holla at you next time. Peace.